Hey guys, it's Kathleen Cat, and welcome back to D4. Dark dreams don't die. Okay, so we just went through some trauma. Lightning crashes, crazy things, you know. Okay, follow the circle. Circle, 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 We talked to the creepy dude. He was creepy. And then some lightning struck. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Creepy things. Marshall, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You think nothing happened at all? I don't need your jabber, boy. <laughs> Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. That's a pretty great photo. Did you take it? Can I tell you what I like the most? Is that your bald head isn't in it. But don't tell me. You weren't the cameraman. You were the flashbulb. But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Listen up. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. And as for my head, I'm not bald. I shave it. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. But just what is it? Da, da, da. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I love how you can push them a bunch of times and they don't do anything. It's fantastic! says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board. for Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. <laughs> Things don't come that easy. Nope. Stop spitting on things!
Okay, scrapbook item 10. Milan Fallen with the Collection 2013. Milan Collection is one of the five collections held in Milan. Oh, surprise. Italy at the end of February each year. This season again saw the unveiling of many appealing sensational items. In particular, the retro and military fashion of individualist designer Duncan Machas or whatever. Is. Yes. Seamlessly with current trends. Matches. Wow. <laughs> whatever. And as the major presence during the show. Sure, sure, sure. I butchered that whole thing. The retro and military fashion unveiled by him this season is kitsch, kitsch and yet eye-catching. It's solid base in existing paradigm, paradigms. Wow. Too many big words. Wow. Diane. Wow. Dynamically fusing them with a modern approach is likely why it has come to be evaluated so highly. Yeah, I butchered that whole thing. But yeah. Sure, let's check it. Probably nothing. There's nothing here. No. Darn it, you're making me start over again. There we go. What things? There's no one hiding in here. Where did the courier go to? Apparently, people like to hide their cheeseburgers in the luggage. Not sure why, and it's minorly creepy, but hey. things. Oh, the hex of it. There's nothing here. It's like a water. Because apparently you need so much food and drink in general. You're very high maintenance. Deborah talking about that lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails so I'm doing my best not to touch them <laughs> but I can't take it anymore my arms legs neck back everything is screaming in pain <laughs> I need to try and calm it down Lightning striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Doesn't this shaking feel odd to you? 
first squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking? The windows? You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? leg if the windows were really squeaking why we'd all be dead by now that lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window we'd have smashed into the sea its surface harder than concrete it's like dr johnson always says fall from an airplane and you'll die <laughs> so just keep your fear mongering to yourself yes you would probably die there certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in the notes what's going on here then You also take notes on suspicious people, right? That's right. There's you, of course, and I've got notes on that guy with the mannequin. Oh, I've got his number. He's one of them object sexuals. I'll have to take your word for that. It's a term applied to individuals who fall in love with inanimate objects. Come on, you've heard of it. A type of paraphilia. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, love has no boundaries. Okay. What about the guy with the scar on his forehead? Stony face, in business class? Oh yes, workaholic, textbook. He's got it bad too. He's either using his work to run away from something, or work itself is his reason for living. Reason? For living. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, it doesn't matter what it is, just find a reason to live. Well, that's kind of sad because it probably means his wife's probably dead. What are you doing now? I'm rereading my old notes. Your old ones? It's your fault. You've got me all riled up. If the window really is squeaking, I need to check if I've got any notes on what to do about it. I'm sure I had something on it. Hey, you, make yourself useful. While I'm reading, you go around and check the windows for me. Didn't I already check the windows? No complaining, no talking back. Get to work. Hey, hold on. Okay, Ready? okay. Set. Hurry, hurry! Game failed. <sighs> didn't make it in time. I didn't. Every single person on this plane was counting on you. <sighs> hey, can I take a break? <sighs> you certainly looked capable enough. Can't judge a book by its cover, eh? No. Nope. If someone asks for your help, <sighs> you be sure and help them. Okay? Apparently I couldn't move the thing, so whatever. At that time. Ah. The 
all looks fine. The front is a cherry blossom path, and snow is on the back. When did that change over? It's a domestic flight, no large bags. fine. Okay, let's get ourselves some food from the kid head. Beans, it is again. Okay. Oh no, life. Let's get some life. Ah. Oh. And she knows, sorry. I know, that's what you wanted to hear about. like to live yes so apparently my life is like very incomplete currently now play your game now lady I can't believe it this aircraft is full of danger Had enough rest now, surely. We yes. need to restart the investigation. Go sure. get to work. Ready? Set? Hurry, hurry, hurry! Creepy guy. Stop looking at me. Stop it. Damn it! <sighs> I failed again. I'm a disappointment. Didn't make it in time. Disappointment. Every on this plane was counting on you. They were. Give me a break. Hey, can I take a break? You certainly looked capable enough. I did. Can't but I'm judge not. a book by its cover. Eh? Can't. If someone asks for your help, you be sure and help them, okay? Trying to. But the big muscly guy was in my way. Darn it. Yep, been here. Okay. Uh. 
Yeah, okay. Come, come, ice hockey, the frozen duel. Ice hockey stands alone alongside football, baseball, and basketball as one of the four major sports and is especially popular in the East Coast of America. Just what is so appealing about ice hockey then? We asked a particularly avid fan for his take. The power and speed of the players, man. There's one, there's no other rush like it. No sport as fast and as brutal as hockey, man. No other. Ice hockey players reach speeds of 30 miles per hour and quite literally crash into each other in order to prevent the other teams from attacks. Team other teams attacks. When shots, when shot, the puck can reach speeds of 100 miles per hour. The speed matches and violent crashes between the teams are the reasons why it's known as the frozen duel, providing an appeal that cannot be found in other sports. Okay. Probably nothing. There's nothing here. Nope. Oh. Okay. that there is a oh okay so there's a thing right there that I can't grab apparently it's kind of BS More about hockey. If you want to catch an ice hockey game in Washington, the version, version center is the place. Uh, I'm going to let you guys want read it because I'm kind of bored of it. I'm like, eh, done. Done with the hockey. There's nothing here. That looks like blood, but okay. No, I want it to be done. Yes. Eat some random people's chips, man. The cherry blossoms and snow are switched. No mistake. So what does that mean? I don't know. It'd be fantastic if you grab that stupid gold thing, though, that's right there. Whatever. The inevitable. Push you some more, too. Push you some more. to this seat? So too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all people should understand. If time changes, so too does place time is of the essence that lightning strike how did you know about it before it even happened don't tell me you can control lightning strikes your ability 
ability to look is not bad, but you need to be able to observe a little more carefully. engine isn't damaged. You have good observational skills. Do I? You already know the answer. I do. Am I correct? I suppose. <sighs> do you know what happened to the courier? It might be said that I do, and it might be said that I don't. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Either way, Mr. Young, you cannot ask me to do your job for you. I suppose not. Somebody just asked. What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones? You saw her. Did she remind you of little? <sighs> Stop talking so slowly. <gasps> What do you know about little Peggy? Blonde, blue eyes, and a mole by <clears> her <throat> eye. Did she smell of the same so This guy's driving me insane. Just how much do you know? <sighs> Everything. Talk normal. Me all of it yourself, Mr. <sighs> Young. You're overlaying your memories <sighs> of little Peggy. Okay. Onto. I'm dead. Yeah. Sorry. I can't What's handle that. What's going on here? Slow, slow talking. Can you finally? These are things with a special meaning. Oh, God, for stop you. it. What are you talking about? Catch them. If you guys want to read that, read it. I can't handle this guy. He's driving me nuts. So it's another mini game. Catching Clovis. Bro. 
awesome. Okay, I got one over what I needed. What are you talking about? I didn't feel the same way. I placed a mid memory beat. What's he talking about? Leaving something in my house. I know it's really annoying. Clover, little Peggy. Could it be? I really don't want to talk to him. Who anymore. are you? It was I remember is a Amanda. Amanda? You know her too? Her well be a good in deck. Okay, we're done with him. Done. Hmm. It's like I'm not even here. Hmm. Now oh you get our attention. Control will be an issue if I can't find it. Push it in. Uh. Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come on. Did that lightning strike you too? She was right here a moment ago. In any case, you need to contact Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Also, Get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Detective Forrest Kaysen in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? If so, I'll have to stop you. Next Damn it. time, I'll break more than your watch. <laughs> So creepy. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination, Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Lowest wiping of dirt ever. Why is there so much dirt on this blade? What a beautiful sunset. It reminds me of the day I proposed. <laughs> to the creepy girl that pretended like she was going to shoot you. Peggy. Yeah. I'll find who killed you. I will. The 
the sun is sinking in the west. Little Peggy, I won't give up until I see you again. Sinking in the west, huh? The opposite side that we were just on. Sorry. looks fine you remember her as in clouds ah oh, creepy man stop looking at me oh I just want the stinking gold thing Looks fine. <sighs> hmm. There we go. Yay. slapped with a match penalty if I push my luck any further. I'd better look for another way before I'm sent off for good. Oh. I need one more. Oh, ma chérie, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in D.C. Ooh, think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? Hey, excuse me! She, Suki, not a mannequin! Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. Yes. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about you, man. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. No more about Suki. Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. <sighs> so this ever be over. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. No, you won't. <laughs> Your choices in fashion, so terrible. They are. How can one walk outside wearing that? Easily. When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay, but what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? Progress cannot be stopped. When we change is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent. Like fluttering petals at any moment new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain like oh, 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 and, oh, avant avant golf no avant-garde Oh. 
Oh, that was creepy. <laughs> Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, Volkov. This will be my next theme. Okay. Your mannequin, I mean... Is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. Mm. Okay. So, oh, so good. Oh, my Suki. Creepy, creepy mannequin. Suki, you are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. So just what's going on here? I completed all my things. Yay! I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. Be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. I'm very sorry. Never ending bubblegum. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Marshall, are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be, but that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you the same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it. Although it's still the first time for you. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly. I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as rabbit. <laughs> so creepy is all like slowly moving and they're like, yes, you die, by the way. <laughs> by the way, you're going to die. Broke your pen, dude. I'm going to be killed. Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally vanished. They didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft heading for Washington. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. Mr. 
noticed it. I don't feel anything from either one anymore. David. <sighs> Why do you shave your beard? Ah, oh, just end it. This is such a long part. End it. It was just starting to grow out. She's kind of creepy in herself. So you shouldn't be missing her too much. She's kind of weird. Little Peggy. What should I do? She doesn't act like a child. Cat! Okay. So that looks like that was pretty much the end of episode one. So yeah. Sorry that one was a bit longer. I would have cut it short, but I thought it was gonna end. I don't know why. I thought it was gonna end a bit sooner. But it didn't, so it was almost an hour. Sorry guys. That's a lot. I know there's like a little piece though at the end here, so I should have known better because you know I have played through it before, but I spaced it out. Anyway, here's the extra bit. Okay, that's it. So, guys, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for episode two. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Bye.